Hey guys, welcome to another Dig It TV adventure. Today we're about 30 miles east of Edinburgh in Dunbar and we're here to take a look at some of East Lothian's hidden heritage gems. Now, if you're anything like me, then you'll know that getting your teeth into wee local museums is just as much fun as picking your way over the ruins of a castle or exploring a grand palace. And Dunbar Townhouse Museum has just about everything to offer. In the late 16th century, Dunbar Town Council had a bit of a problem. The old toll booth was undergoing repairs and they were just taking far too long. So they were forced at that point to hold their courts in the local churchyard. Now, in order to rectify this, an order went out in 1593 telling local people to go and take stone from the quarry at Inner Wick in order to build a new toll booth. Now, the result was this. Dunbar Town House has been the home of municipal activity in Dunbar for over 400 years, and in that time it has seen some very interesting sights. Down one flight of stairs and you have my favourite two rooms. The second floor has two jail cells and they couldn't be more contrasting. This room, the larger of the two, was the debtor's prison and life in here, well, not pleasant by any means, would have been a lot more comfortable than it was next door. And perhaps more interesting, the stone that's used in some of this room, including the, the casing on the window outside and this amazing fireplace covered in prisoner's graffiti, well, the stone was thought to come from Dunbar Castle after it was destroyed. The room next door is much smaller, much colder and much darker and really spending any amount of time in here would have been incredibly grim. Now, to give you an idea of the sort of man who would be in here, in the 18th century, a man called Robert Dunnett, he was convicted of assault and sentenced to a hundred lashes. But after his punishment was carried out, he would have been brought back here. Now, he would have been lying in the cold, damp filth, with really only the advice of a doctor to keep the open wounds on his back clean. Dunbar Townhouse has been a lot of things over the centuries, but what this really boils down to is the fact that this is one of the oldest municipal buildings in Scotland. It was still in use right the way up until the council boundaries changed in the 1970s. But this is more than just a museum. The rooms in here are still available to hire for talks, meetings and weddings, which really, really means that this little piece of Dunbar history is still alive and kicking. <laughs> 